I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to add rational expressions. 2 over x square plus 6x plus 9 plus 3 over x square minus 9. This is a practice question. You can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. To add, we need to factor and then find greatest common factor in denominator. So these are the first two steps. Here, the first expression we have 2 over x square plus 6x plus 9. Now how do you factor x square plus 6x plus 9? Uh, well, this seems to be a perfect square. 9 could be written as 3 square and we have x square already here. The center term is 2 times 3 times x, right? So we could write this as x plus 3 whole square. So we get x plus 3 whole square for the first one. And here we have 3 over x square minus 9. So x square minus 9, we could think as x square minus 3 square. So that is the difference of square. So difference of squares is a special um, factor. We could write this as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Correct? You may have to review the factoring skills for getting into rational expressions and their operations. Well, now we have factored form of our rational expressions 2 over x plus 3 whole square plus 3 over x plus 3 times x minus 3. At this stage, let us look for greatest common factor. So the factors are x plus 3 and x minus 3. So x plus 3 whole square. So the greatest common is x plus 3 square times x minus 3. So that becomes the greatest common factor. In the first one, we are lacking x minus 3, so we'll multiply 2 by x minus 3. So we get 2 times x minus 3. This is as good as saying that multiply the first term and divide the first term by x minus 3. So we get x minus 3 in the denominator and also in the numerator. Plus 3 times, here we have one term, x plus 3, but not the square one. So we'll multiply by x plus 3, correct? So that is how we write down with common denominator, which is the greatest common factor of the two, right? Now we can actually expand and simplify the numerator. We have 2x minus 6 plus 3x plus 9 divided by x plus 3 whole square times x minus 3. Let us simplify the numerator by combining the like terms. 2x plus 3x is 5x and minus 6 plus 9 is plus 3 divided by x plus 3 whole square times x minus 3. Now that's our final answer but before writing that as an answer you have to include restrictions. Let me remind you you have to include restrictions. Restrictions for our example is that denominator cannot be 0. So x is not equal to plus or minus 3 because those numbers will make denominator as 0. So that is how you should be solving or adding rational expressions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.